हेलो जीरो वोल्टेज डिटेक्शन सर्किट इन एनी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट यूज्ड फॉर पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एप्लीकेशन वी नीड टू नो द जीरो वोल्टेज डिटेक्शन जीरो वोल्टेज डिटेक्शन मीनिंग सी आर सप्लाई इज ए सी एंड इट पासिस थ्रू जीरो every half cycle that is 10 millisecond while a complete supply is 20 millisecond as far as the 50 hertz is concerned we have a circuit here where we have a transformer and we have a bridge rectifier and we have a voltage regulator we have a blocking diode here we call it a blocking diode and we have used an opto isolator we'll try to analyze how this circuit works now this voltage is stepped down to 12 volt ac and this we here we get pulsating dc and that pulsating dc is taken and given to an opto isolator input led and that is how the circuit is complete as far as the pulsating dc is concerned since for the circuit operation we need pure dc we from the same place we take diode here uh, then we take it and filter it here this filtering is done only after the uh, diode so that this capacitor has no effect on this side and of course if you use a 7805 5 volt supply will be available here which can be used for any circuit operation what we are try to do here we are taken this this dc un uh, unregulated dc this is 12 volt it could be 12 to 18 volt dc and uh, this will be 5 volt of course because of this 7805 voltage regulator and uh, we take this dc and use it at the output of the optocoupler and it's a transistor type led transistor type optocoupler so what happens when this point goes from zero to high this led conducts and in the process this transistor conducts only when the light is falling on this and uh, you will see the typical waveform that we get we are connected the channel a here to see the pulsating dc channel b here to see the pulses and channel c of course to see what is the dc output we we'll now go over to the operation of this and we find here that this is the pulsating dc that we get and uh, this is the and you look at the scale here the a is the 2 volts that means 2 4 6 8 12 volt or about uh, 10 volts or so in the pulsating dc front and on the uh, b channel b channel is this this is this is my b channel and in the b channel if we find it is again in the 2 volt scale and which is 2 4 6 8 9 9 something uh 9 10 volts whatever it is and this is uh, this is happening a pulse sort of thing and this is happening since very near the zero it can be a pulsating dc converted to the pulses zero voltage pulses and as far as the dc is concerned we can see this dc is this and you can see if from here to here and you get a pure dc which is filtered dc from 2 4 6 8 about say is 16 18 volts dc and that is how we get a pulsating dc and then we generate a zero voltage pulse this zero voltage pulse can be utilized for any sensing of the supply frequency or for arranging to feed it to a programmed microcontroller which would sense the zero voltage and then carry on further actions for example some delayed pulse which has to be used for firing angle control thank you and in the event of feeding the output that is from this point to a 5 volt logic circuit for example a microcontroller it is necessary that this point is not given to through the resistor to 12 volt but it is given to the 5 volt this is a 7805 regulator and then we get 5 volt here and to the 5 volt it goes so that when we operate this we get 
zero voltage pulses of five volt nature. If this is in the two volt scale, so two to four plus one. So you get five volt zero voltage pulses as against a pulsating DC, which could be of many higher voltage. For example, here the pulse in this scale is two here, and we have two, four, six, eight, and about 10 to 12 volts. So that is how we get 5 volt irrespective of whatever is the voltage at the pulsating DC. Thank you.